morning you guys welcome to today's video as you guys obviously just saw I just made my favorite breakfast which is I've showed this before but it's one cup of egg whites so we got one cup of egg whites obviously we have some spinach four pieces of the 45 calorie Sara Lee bread and then a couple pro tips some things that I add to this every single day which are really really good I get this at Costco at my local Costco I'm not sure if you can actually now that I think of it I'm not sure if you can get this at every Costco but this salsa is so good so I put it on my eggs every single day and then what I use to season my eggs before when I'm actually cooking it is this Webster gourmet burger it makes the eggs like taste like a burger it's so so good so for this big plate of food right here we end up with I tracked it on evolve we end up with 306 calories it ends up being 38.5 grams of protein 37.8 grams of carbs and 2.4 grams of fat if you do have the time in the morning to make something like this I highly recommend it it seriously takes maybe four to five minutes and you get all this food it tastes great great way to start the morning again thank you guys for clicking on the video and breakfast has been consumed and Mike is back from work see now we're going to Costco yeah pick up foods and samples. Mainly samples. Yeah. <laughs> we have made it to where dreams are made of, aka Costco, aka the sample house. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys afterwards. And we are back home from Costco now. After about a thousand calories consumed in samples, I figured I would show you guys what I got. The first thing I got me this bread, 50 calories for each slice, so it's awesome for you guys saw that meal that I made earlier today. This is the bread that I use. These frozen vegetables right here, these are awesome. I use them in my stir fry every single night. Just some cooking spray. More of that salsa that I was telling you guys that I like so much. Of course, some spinach. Some pre-cooked chicken. This stuff is awesome if you're in a time crunch or you just don't feel like cooking chicken. It's already cooked and everything, so you literally just weigh it out and there's your protein for the day. Egg whites, pre-cooked brown rice. These are actually 200 grams, so that's exactly what I use in my stir fry every night. So if you're in a time crunch, kind of the same thing as the chicken, you just throw it in the microwave for 90 seconds. It's already cooked and you're good to go. And that's everything that I got. Now let's put it away. I think we're just gonna throw this with the box in there. Just in the back. So I wanted to do something right now that I haven't done in a while. So what that is is going to be a physique update. Now for those of you that have been watching the channel for a while, you know that I used to only train bodybuilding. So this was something that I did pretty frequently, not all the time, but I haven't done it in a while so I figured I would do it. Now I'm just going to overlay some footage that I took this morning. I promise this isn't like, <laughs> I didn't take this a long time ago or anything like that. This is from this morning and currently I am weighing 207 pounds in the morning. So I have put on about 27 pounds from my men's physique show when I was weighing 180 pounds on stage. Now it's kind of crazy thinking about 27 pounds. Like I would think that, especially when I was losing weight, I would I would have thought that if I would have ever gained 27 pounds, like I would have been absolutely terrified. But I have to say that I am so proud of, of where my physique stands and just far as how much body fat I feel that I have being 207 pounds. So a lot of people have been asking me how my training is split up now that I'm doing bodybuilding and CrossFit. So basically I do bodybuilding four times a week in the morning and I do CrossFit six days a week at night. So a basic rundown of my whole week of training is Monday and Tuesday in the morning, I will do my bodybuilding split, and then at night at about four or five, I will do my CrossFit. Now on Wednesday, I will either take it off or maybe go on a run in the morning, and then I'll do my CrossFit at night. And then Thursday, Friday is exactly the same as Monday, Tuesday. So bodybuilding in the morning, CrossFit at night, and then Saturday, I'll no normally do some sort of maybe like longer Metcon, something like that, in like at like 10, 10 a.m. because that's when we have a workout with the whole my whole CrossFit gym. And then Sunday I will typically take off. The first thing I want to say is I do understand that is a lot of volume and that is a lot of workouts that probably most people wouldn't be able to do if you're working a regular nine to five. Now I am very lucky that I work, basically I work from home, so I have a lot more time like that to be able to do two workouts a day. Am I saying that you have to do two workouts a day? Absolutely not, but I just wanted to inform you as to what I've been doing in the past year or two. A lot of people say that it would be a good idea maybe to 
cut out the bodybuilding and maybe do another CrossFit workout in the morning so I can get better and like, you know, chase my CrossFit goals faster. Now, I, I agree with that and I can see where you'd be coming from with that, but personally for me, bodybuilding is something that I love so much and that I will always enjoy, especially like the morning workouts. I'm able to put my headphones in and it really is kind of therapy for me, so I don't see myself ever wanting to completely cut that out of my training. As far as my goals are concerned right now, I'm not super stressed about how my body looks, how much body fat that I have. Obviously, I could cut a little bit if I wanted to, but right now, that is not my goal. As a lot of you guys, if you've been following for a while, you know that I'm doing a squat program, so I'm trying to get my squat up, so that's really, really important to me. So right now, the strength is so important, more than maybe being a little bit more lean. And also, I have a CrossFit competition coming up in nine days from me filming this video, which is crazy to think. Um, so obviously, I wanna be strong for that there's actually going to be a max clean and jerk is one of the events in that so obviously I want to be as strong as possible for that and with that being said I think that's probably one of the best parts about starting CrossFit for me is that I'm not so stressed out about how my body looks I'm more worried about how I perform and how strong I'm getting and how I can perform during Metcons and how I can, you know, how I can increase my mile times. There's all these other markers that I'm trying to hit other than, you know, how much body fat I'm carrying around. And that has been so good for me mentally and just moving forward. Like, I feel like that's going to be a much better mindset to have, you know, going into 10, 20 years down the road. But there you guys go. I just kind of wanted to show you guys a little physique update. A lot of people say when you start CrossFit, you lose all your gains. But honestly, I have, as you saw, I have gained weight since I started doing CrossFit. It's really all about how much you're eating and, and making sure your nutrition's on point and I feel like I've been able to do that. I'm really, really happy with where I'm sitting at as far as how my body looks and especially how I'm able to perform. But that's enough talk about my body and showing my half-naked body on the screen. Today is Friday, so we do have a workout tonight, so let's go do that. We are here at the gym. If you've been following for a while, you'll know that I am on a squat cycle right now. So we are starting with squats. Not working up to anything significantly heavy. It's kind of a deload week today, but we still gotta get the work in, so let's do it. Like I said, today's squats are pretty easy. I'm already on my, my last set of back squats. It's a set of five at 280 pounds. Let's do it. Back squats are done. Now, as you probably guessed, it's time for front squats. <laughs> Squats are done and now we are moving on to the Metcon. Today, the Metcon is something that I've done before. It is called Prison Rules. So what Prison Rules is, it is three, basically it's three different Metcons separated by a minute and each time you have four minutes and every 15 seconds in those four minutes, you're doing three movements. So in the first four minutes, you are doing three power snatches. I'm gonna be doing 85 pounds. So you have to do three power snatches in 15 seconds and then right when you drop the bar, you have to pick it up again. So this workout is all about just mentally picking up the bar when maybe you wouldn't want to. So after you do the power snatches, you have clean and jerk. After you do clean and jerk, you have thrusters. So basically it ends up being only like 12 minutes of work, but it is just straight 12 minutes, no stopping, except for those you know two minutes that you have in between each of the rounds. So like I said, I've done this before. I was able to get through all of it without resting. So that was 75 pounds. Now, since I was able to do all of it, I have to move up to 85 pounds. I have no idea what to expect. I hope I'm able to get through all of it, but you never know, this is a, uh, this will be a mental test for me. So, uh, let's see how it goes.
Oh. Yes, that was it. I was able to get every, I was able to get every round. I was, I was seriously didn't think I was gonna be able to. And just like that, the workout is done. It is always nice being pleasantly surprised by a performance in a workout, and that's exactly what happened today. But this is where I'm gonna end today's video. I have really nothing else to do other than go home and, and edit this video. Uh, so I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed like the physique update and just everything that I was able to put in today's video. Again, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There was one other thing that I wanted to say. Oh yeah, look how buff I am! Uh. How was it? Today's vlog. How was it? Uh, humbling. Humbling? Humbling. Did you kill it though? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah you did. I did. You got it. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> nice old be. Obey the warning signs, and when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop.